Hey everyone, this is Donald the Repentless with episode 4 of Life of an Inventory Auditor, Wild Rides and Company Vans. Now since I've worked for two inventory companies, and one of the part of the experience of working as a, um, an inventory auditor with a big company like Wiss or Regis is riding to the stores in the company van. Because if ta if, especially if stores are out of town, for example, they'll rent a van or they, in the case of Regis, they had these, not Regis, Wiss, they had these 15 passenger vans that they either leased from a company, I don't, I'm not sure how that works, but anyways, starting with Wiss, um, there was times I remember, this guy, this one guy in particular, he um, bragged about how he could get from Salt Lake City to Pocatello. If you know anything about the region, you know how far Salt Lake City is from um, Pocatello. But anyways, he took off down the road. I mean, I swear he was going 90 at least. And yeah, sure enough, we, about an hour, hour and a half later, we were back in Pocatello. But there are other drivers. I mean, there's there a lot of drivers with WIS that were just damn crazy when it came to driving. I remember one time, now this was back in the 90, you know, 95, 96, and there was a number of years where there was a stretch of Interstate 15 between the Utah border and Malad that had a lot of road work being done. So uh, there'd be stretches of 15 miles where it'd be reduced to one lane of traffic. Well, one night, on the coming back from a store in Utah, there was two vans that went down from Pocatello. And these two vans, and I could see the, I don't I, remember, I think I was riding shotgun that time. But these two vans, two, you know, imagine these big 15 passenger vans, side by side, because it hadn't turned into single lane yet. Side by side on Interstate 15, going 90 plus miles an hour. I mean, they're literally side by side. And we're approaching an area where road construction was happening. And right in front of the van I was in, there was, we were <laughs> running up on a, a semi truck at, who was trying to merge into this lane. So I was scared to death that one of us was going to rear end this semi. But somehow we either slowed down or they slowed down or both of us slowed down and we were able to pull behind that other van. I mean, this was the kind of stuff that was happening in, with Wiss all the time, but, you know. But anyways, with Regis, usually the drivers stick to the speed limit most of the time. But, and even then, I mean, a lot of the problems that... <laughs> come up with riding in a in with Regis is usually due more to weather than to weather or tires blowing out than um, any kind of shenanigans with driving. Um, this was back in the 90s, back 96, somewhere in there. But my mom still worked for the company at the time. And it was practically whiteout conditions on um, I-84 coming back from Boise. And there were these tracks on the side of the road. You know, just when I was watching these tracks, I, I couldn't, you know, well, I was sitting by the, you know, the window. So I was watching this, me and my mom were watching this, these tracks, and all of a sudden there was a fox that ran across the road. Um, another time, now, a tire blew out on the car, on the van we were in, going to Burley. And none of us could figure out where the spare tire was on this van. And there was no user's manual in the van. Um, so we're sitting there looking around under, the, under there all over the place. Eventually, somebody pulled over, you know, turned around and helped us who actually had a van like that. And there was a place underneath the um, 
the central console where you had to pull up a thing and then use a special tool to ratchet down the the spare tire which how could anybody figure that out without the owner's manual i mean unless you've had this type of van or that kind of thing or the or owner's manual how would you know to look underneath the central console for this bolt to unscrew um, another time, <laughs> you know, a couple of blowouts there. Um, now, one time, he was coming back from Jackson. I don't think I was in that particular van, but I kind of heard about the aftermath. Um, the driver of the van, I'm tend to say Brian, saw what he thought was a big snowball in the middle of the highway I says, hey, look at this, and ran it over, and it was a boulder. And totally messed up the suspension and whatever on the van. And these people were sitting there waiting until we could get another van there to pick them up and take them back to Pocatello. Like I said, in 15 years, Quite a, I, you, you accumulate quite a few stories. Um, that's part of what I'm going to be doing here is, is reminiscing, talking about things that happened, silly stories, um, funny things that happened, and that kind of thing. But I just want to make this short video with the two or three stories about wild rides in company vans. So until next time. Thumbs up this video, um, share it, subscribe to my channel if you want more inventory stories from an inventory auditor. Thank you very much. This is Donald the Repentless signing off and everyone be awesome.